I'm dating a broke guy and it really really sucks because he has the best personality hands down I have so much fun with him and but it's like it's gotten to the point where right now I'm not doing as financially well as I normally do so in the past like we have taken trips but i've paid for the trips i've paid for the hotel i've paid for the rental of the car i want to ask a question to women it doesn't feel good when you're on the other side of the coin that does it oh when they put you in a position of a man what's the problem I thought you were a strong, independent woman. I thought you got it. I thought you wanted equality. I thought you wanted to do the same thing that a man does. Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you become a masculine woman and you end up in a man's place. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? How is everybody doing today? Happy Black History Month. Don't forget, hit that like button on your way in. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time i upload content today's video a broke man i'm dating a broke man roll that clip if we've been to concerts i've paid for the tickets he does what he can when he can but he doesn't do enough he doesn't do enough he doesn't do enough. Right. You know what I'm saying? But he does what he can when he can. But it's gotten to the point where it definitely sucks because I'm not doing as well financially. I can't afford to do things for two people. I can't even afford to do things just myself right now. So because I can't afford to do things for two, we actually don't do anything. We're saying because I had my narcissist ex-boyfriend who made way more money than I did. And you know, that wasn't the answer. Like, so it's like, where is the common ground? Like, and obviously I do have a little bit of fear. Like if I stay with him during this whole time and I continue to help out, is he gonna just walk away when he does better? It, it's just, uh, it's so scary. It's so crazy because it's like, I really, really like him. And I really, really, really like, don't want to like, not be with him. But at the same time too, like. I want men to pay attention to what this woman said. She says she dated a man with money and it wasn't all that. Now she's dating a broke pookie. And now she's complaining. <laughs> Why are you complaining, lady? You didn't want the man with money that could take care of you and make more money than you. Now you're with a pookie. This just goes to show you three things. Number one, the modern woman doesn't know what she wants. Number two, the modern woman is never satisfied. And number three, the modern woman will never be anything but modern. You see, this woman had it all and she gave it up to be with a poogie. And now she is put in a masculine role and she's upset. Lady, this is what you wanted. This is what you asked for. I don't know what more do you want. You get nothing. You lose. You're sitting here complaining on the internet about a choice that you made. 
You chose to be with that pookie. You chose to be with that loser. You chose the loser. You chose the pookie. You chose the man that you're complaining about on the internet. You know what? Loose lips sink ships. So you sunk this ship. This is like watching the Titanic sink in slow motion see guys this is why you always gotta have your own because a woman will kick you when you're down we don't know the guy's side of the story and hell we probably never will but you gotta remember guys always have your own he's right you know don't depend on a woman for anything because as soon as you do she'll throw it right back in your face See, it's always the women that say, oh, don't depend on a man. Don't depend on a man. Because if you do, they'll throw it in your face. And how many men do we see coming out on the internet talking publicly about what he's done for a woman? Don't worry, I'll wait. But how many women do you constantly see talking about their complaining about paying for a man, doing for a man, providing for a man but yet you want it to be equal so you're getting the equality and this brings me to my next point ladies this is what happens when you date poogies <laughs> i need a drug dealer and then a skimmer then the nine to five. i want the skimmer first then the drug dealer then the nine to five. They like the fast money over here. Because the fast money niggas, they got time. They can take you out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But you just complain you didn't want to the two. Only take you out on the weekend. This is what happens when you date the bottom of the barrel when it comes to dating and relationships. See, you have to realize that the only thing a pookie can give you is good loving. Me to me. Me to me. And that's what makes the pookie so popular. Women love the sexual gratification they get until it wears off and then they realize, oh, I messed up again. And see, instead of women running away from the pookie, they run to pookies and then complain about it. This is the reason why the modern woman will always lose on the dating market. They shame you, they guilt you, the insults, and the need to be right. That is the modern woman's M.O. That is what makes the modern woman a loser on the dating market. A lot of people will say, oh, you bash women. No, I don't. Women bash themselves. I just comment on it. I can't control a woman's decision. I'm here to help men and women become the best version of themselves. So if you want to call me a woman basher, I'll take that. Because you know what? What can you do? Sometimes the jokes just write themselves. Let this be a lesson to you modern women. Stop dating poogies. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that again. Stop dating poogies anyway y'all that's been it for today's video don't forget hit that like button subscribe to the channel tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time i upload content don't forget if you want to join the channel you get channel perks access to exclusive never before seen videos and members only videos that are coming extremely and very soon and until the next video peace